In this video, we are going to be learning how to install Kali Linux Purple completely from scratch on your Windows PC. If you do not know what Kali Linux Purple is, it is a version of Kali Linux that is used for both offensive and defensive security, whereas Kali Linux is only used for offensive security. So without further ado, let's start the installation process. So the very first thing I will do is open my browser and go to google.com and search for Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click on the first link, virtualbox.org is the official URL. When you're on this page, scroll down and click on the big blue icon which says download VirtualBox 7.0. When you're on this page, click on Windows Hosts and an installer for VirtualBox will get downloaded. After the download is complete, I will open the folder where my file got downloaded. I can see this is the file that just got downloaded. I will click on the file twice and my installation process for the VirtualBox has started. I will first click on next. You can change the installation path if you want. I will not do this for now. I will keep it as default and click on next. Proceed with installation now for network interfaces. Click on yes. Click on yes again and click on install. And your virtual box will be installed. I will uncheck this box because I do not want my virtual box to start now and click on finish. And my installation has completed. If I go to my desktop, I can see the icon of virtual box. I will not start virtual box now. I will now download the image for Kelly Linux purple. So I will open my browser again and go to google.com and go to kali.org and press enter. Click on the first link. Kali.org is the official URL. When you're on this page, click on download. In this page, I will keep on scrolling until I see Kali purple. So I can see Kali purple here. From here, under recommended 64 bit, I will click on the download icon here, which is 3.8 GB. And my download for the ISO image will begin. Wait for the download to get completed. After the download is completed, I will open the folder where my file got downloaded. I can confirm that this ISO image got downloaded into the downloads folder. Now I will go back to my desktop to start the virtual box. I will click on the Oracle VM virtual box twice to start it. Since I have reinstalled my virtual box, that's why you can see some virtual machine. But if this is your first time installing virtual box, this will be completely empty. So after starting the virtual box, click on new here. Give a name to your virtual machine. I will call my virtual machine Kelly Purple. The default folder is fine for me. You can change yours if you want. For the ISO image, click on the drop down and select other. I know that my ISO image got downloaded into the downloads folder. So I'll select the downloads folder and I can see this is the ISO image. So I'll select it and click on open. I will then click on next. And for the base memory, 2GB is the bare minimum, but I will increase it to 4GB. Make sure you stay on the green. For the processor, I will allocate two CPU and then click on next. Make sure create a virtual hard disk now is selected and then allocate your disk size. I will allocate 50 GB and then click on next. I'm happy with my configuration. That's why I'll click on finish. And now I can see Kali purple virtual machine has been created. If you're not happy with the configuration, select the virtual machine and click on settings. Here you can change the settings according to your own will. I will not do anything for now except display. I will click on display and the video memory. I will increase from 16 MB to 128 MB and click on OK. Then I will start my virtual machine. After my virtual machine has started, I will select graphical install and press enter. I will keep the default language English and click on continue. My location United States is fine. So I'll click on continue keyboard layout. American English is fine for me, so I'll click on continue. The default host name Kali is fine for me, so I'll click on continue. Domain name, I will not give anything and keep it as default and click on continue. I will give the name of my user, which is Farhan and click on continue. The username for your account Farhan is also fine for me, so I'll click on continue. I will give a password. I will retype my password for confirmation and click on continue. The time zone Eastern is fine for me, so I'll click on continue. I will select guided use entire disk and click on continue for the disk partition SDA is fine for me and it is also the only one so I'll click on continue I will select all files in one partition recommended for new users and click on continue finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click on continue write the changes to disk select yes and click on continue I will keep the desktop environment as default and click on continue and wait for it to finish. I will fast forward this part of the video. Install the grub bootloader to your primary drive. Select yes and then click on continue. Select your partition dev sda and click on continue. And now we are all done. Our installation is finished. I will click on continue to reboot. 
type in your username and type in your password that you set earlier and click on login and as you can see i have the latest version of kali purple installed if you want it to be full screen then click on view and click on full screen mode and click on switch so that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to kali linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching